Hi, I'm Pafu Yang. I'm at Monroe Elementary School in Brooklyn Park. And as you may already know, schools across the state are closed due to COVID-19. That means students are distance learning. But what about the students experiencing homelessness? Well, I have Jessica Jaserta here with me. She's the homeless liaison for the Anoka Hennepin Districts. Jessica, thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me today. Yeah, Can you tell us a little bit more about what the district is doing to help families who are experiencing homelessness? Absolutely, that's a great question. Um, across the district, we're really working hard to ensure that students during this distance learning period are experiencing a relevant and meaningful educational experience. For students experiencing homelessness, we know that there are increased barriers to participating in distance learning. Um, that could include limited access to technology. It could include um, just living environments that aren't conducive to learning. We also know that many students are struggling to meet their basic needs, which could impact learning as well. So since school closures were announced, um, Anoka Hennepin Schools has made an effort to ensure that we are actively reaching out to all of our students. The second week of distance planning, all of our staff returned and each um, student that we've identified as experiencing homelessness has received an individual outreach from a student support staff to identify their needs related to basic needs and distance learning. Um, from there, community referrals have been provided in addition to connection to distance um, or to district provided supports as well. Mm -hmm. And um, we've been able to connect so many students with resources that are so critical at this time. Mm -hmm. Jessica, do you know how many students are have reported as being homeless? Absolutely, yep. This year so far within the Anoka Hennepin School District, we've identified nearly 1,100 students as experiencing homelessness. Um, we know that that number may increase as families are experiencing additional economic stress as the result of reduction in hours, job losses, and things like that. Mm -hmm. What can the community do to help? Absolutely, that's a great question. One thing that I know for sure is that we are stronger when we're working together. Folks can consider Consider um, supporting any local organizations that are really doing a lot of work to ensure that families and children have access to basic needs supports. Our district website, um, our, the COVID-19 website, has some information available on some of the resources that are available within the local community. In addition to that, our Anoka Hennepin Education Foundation has set up an agility fund, which will help the district in filling gaps where um, we're planning and ensuring that students are getting their needs met during this time related to distance learning. All right. Anything else you would like to say? I, you know, I am so grateful that I'm part of a team that is so committed to our students. Um, I've seen our student support teams, our child nutrition team, our transportation department, and a number of community resources really step up to make it happen for kids. One thing that I'm really proud of right now is through that individual outreach, we've identified students who are experiencing barriers to accessing some of those meal distribution sites in addition to those um, distance learning distribution sites. This week alone, we've been able to coordinate delivery of those needed resources to students to nearly 100 students across the district who are experiencing homelessness. And that could not be done by one person or one department alone. Really, folks are really stepping up and working hard to meet the needs of our students right now. Okay, great information. Thank you so much, Jessica. Well, next week, we'll also be talking to another school on how they're helping students who are experiencing homelessness. You can find that story on ccxmedia.org. For now, reporting in Brooklyn Park, Pafu Yang, CCX News. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.